there's so many incidents of violence and verbal altercations between the two of them and playing fast and loose with visitation and custody issues that I really don't think either one of them know what's going on anymore between the two of them. She's almost willing to admit to almost anything, it seems. I mean, I read the thing the same way. And a window got broken. I mean, she's not making a denial. I think this is so all over the place. I think this is the wrong form for these people. I think they should not be together. His case should be dismissed just right off the bat. And these orders of protection should keep them away from each other. And someone should really be taking care of this child. I think all of those things are true. I think she broke the window. And I think when somebody intentionally damages your property, you're entitled to be compensated. I think it sends a bad signal if we let her off the hook with these silly, vapid denials that don't even make any sense. I mean, you were calling it out at the beginning. First of all, in terms of the signal, I think we send a bad signal when we give credence to suits that are brought out of vengeance. This is not a vandalism case. This case emerges out of a deep-seated antagonism between these two people that's causing great damage to their child. And I think to legitimize his lawsuit would do damage. And I think that both of them need counseling. They need to understand what responsibilities exist with respect to raising children. If I were the aggrieved father and it was $300, this I'd, is not the way I would resolve it. That's, I'd like to see him as an aggrieved father, but I don't even see him as an aggrieved no. father. He's an aggrieved partner, maybe, but, in any but event, not father. We don't need to decide this case on the basis of that broader impact. To me, there is a reasonable issue as to his burden of proof and I think he failed. In and I think that's a fair point because truthfully, by my focusing on her lack of credibility, I'm shifting the You're burden. You're shifting the burden. The burden's not on her. Right. The burden is on him. So I'm gonna join you because I'm not sure he's quite met his burden. He didn't meet his burden and the rest is obvious. So we're gonna dismiss his case. We're unanimous. I have no personal interest in remedying your personal relationship, and I don't think my colleagues do either. But we all agree that the person that's suffering the most here is your child. Neither one of you seems to be concerned that there are orders of protection out there. I mean, think about it. You can't go 100 feet near her. She can't go 100 feet near you. Do you think your child's gonna grow up normal and healthy? Do the two of you really think that? I'm doing the best that I can. Fighting with each other is not doing the best you can. And you know what, sir? I'm going to look a little bit at you here because there are other issues that are involved with the defendant, and she's treating those issues and she's dealing with them. You, on the other hand, you're not burdened with that additional issue. So you know exactly what you're doing because anybody who comes in here with this mess that you're in, this mess of fighting and anger and viciousness and vindictiveness, to come in here for $300 when you have probably $300 at least of tattoos on your chest, that tells us a lot about who you are. Where is your child now, ma'am? Do you have custody of the child now? Yes. Do you at any time at all give your child visitation with his father? No. Has the court told you you have to? No. Have you been back to court at all? Um, when was the last time you went to family court regarding these issues? Last month. Did you get a court order for child support? No. Why not? Um, I'm working on it. Well, he's got a job. He's got to pay child support. Go back to court. Let the court decide, and both of you follow the court orders and stay away from one another. Do you understand that, sir? Yeah, I just, the only problem is that I'm trying my best to avoid conflict from her, but even... You're in a courtroom here. You brought this conflict. You know what? You don't get it. You didn't, you don't, and stop. And you're just muddying the waters. The verdict is to dismiss your complaint. We're unanimous.